The seahorse has a very unusual feature for a fish, a prehensile or grasping tail. This tail can anchor the seahorse to one spot, resisting the ocean currents that surround it. How does it work? The cross section of the seahorse's tail is square, not round like that of most other animals with gripping tails. In contrast with the round shape, this square shape allows the tail to contact a greater area of the surface being gripped, making it more difficult to dislodge. It can also twist and untwist with minimal energy. In addition, the tail of the seahorse is encased in overlapping bony plates with many joints. When subjected to a potentially harmful force, the plates slide over one another, absorbing the energy. This can prevent damage to the seahorse's spinal column. The design of the seahorse's tail could be applied to search and rescue robots, which need to be strong and capable of bending and twisting in tight spaces. The same properties could be useful in some surgical equipment. According to Professor Ross Hatton, human engineers tend to build things that are stiff so they can be controlled easily. But nature makes things just strong enough not to break and then flexible enough to do a wide range of tasks. That's why we can learn a lot from animals that will inspire the next generations of robotics. What do you think? Did the seahorse's tail evolve or was it designed?